One of the things that you can find along the timeline is historic contribution rates for the Canada Pension Plan. Contribution rates are provided in blue. It's important to note that the total CPP contribution for our year has two parts. The first part is paid by the employee, and then the employer makes an equal, fully matched second part. Self-employed individuals pay both the employee's portion and the employer's portion. The contribution number is on the reference tool represent what either the employee or the employer are each required to pay. When you see a number for a contribution rate, the location of the number indicates the year that the contribution rate began to take effect. That particular contribution rate remains in effect until you come across a new number later on the timeline. For example, the original contribution rate was 1.8% in 1966. one6 remained the CPP contribution rate until 1987 when it increased to 1.9%. Between 1987 and 2003, the contribution rate was gradually increased each year because of changes to the Canada Pension Plan that were required to make it more sustainable. Contribution rate information between 1987 and 2003 was placed in this table to keep the reference tool less cluttered. As a reminder, the white area above the timeline contains information about the base CPP. So you can see that the contribution rate for the base CPP became 4.95% in 2003, and this is the value that it remains today because there are no new superseding contribution rates that have come later. In the next video about contribution rates, I'll cover the enhanced CPP. There is also a separate video where I explain how much of your earnings you have to pay CPP contributions on.